All right, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we're gonna talk again about custom ammo, and today we're gonna cover the flashette rounds. Before we start, as usual, keep in mind my personal opinion might change over the next week and months. Same with the stats that I'm gonna show you. Custom ammo is still kind of newish for everybody, so there might be some tweaking in the future. Always check out the pinned comment regarding the changes. Also, the footage is from the test server, but also from the live server. So, I want to talk about today a short overview, what are flashette rounds, then how does the ammo actually work. I get a ton of questions regarding when is there light bleeding, medium bleeding, intense bleeding. We're gonna clarify that. Afterwards, I want to talk about flashette playstyles. Then I want to show you some gameplay footage and the usual review of the guns. And at the end, my personal opinion. Let's get it started. Enjoy. Let's start with a quick overview regarding the flashette rounds. Alright, so let's have a look at the flashette rounds. So what are they? They're basically, well, shotgun shells and they contain little darts. Which you send flying at your enemy. And that will be painful, hopefully. So, what do they do? They apply bleeding and they increase your range significantly. But they reduce the base damage. What does that mean? You're losing the ability to one-shot people with your shotgun, even point blank. You will not kill with a single shell. It's, it's just not possible. You're trading damage for range and for the bleed effect. This opens up new play sites. You, you have to play this a little bit differently because you will lose to close range builds. If you charge a building, and they have buckshot and you have flashette rounds and if the skill levels are equal the buckshot will mostly win because they need only one shell to kill you and you will need two maybe one and then you retreat and then they might die to bleeding but that's optimistic this loadout is good for short range not point blank short range to mid range also when you use the flashette rounds you have a tighter spread so you will see that the crosshair is tighter compared to buckshot. Also, flash head rounds, they suck ass against AI. So I highly recommend that you bring a sidearm that can deal, or a primary if you're using the shotgun as your sidearm, that can deal with AI kind of nicely. Otherwise, this will be very painful. Okay, this is a short overview. But how does the ammo actually work? Let's have a look at that. So how does the flechette ammo actually work? First of all, let's talk about the range. When we're talking about full-sized shotguns, so for example the Spectre, you can hit people up to 80 meters, roughly. That means that you will deal one point of damage. All right, so you're not dealing a lot of damage at that distance. That's just the max range for applying a hit marker. The hand cannons are around 60 meters. Now, how does it work with the bleed effect though? When is it light bleeding, medium bleeding or intense bleeding? By the way, the level of bleeding, you can see that by how many blood drops are on your health bar. One, two, three. The bleed intensity is not related to the damage directly. It is related to the amount of darts that are hitting your target. So, if you're shooting somebody at 70 meters with a Spectre, with the flechette rounds, you deal almost no damage, but if you're lucky, you can hit him with three darts and you apply intense bleeding. You can shoot somebody close range, maybe only one dart will hit, you deal no damage then, or not a lot of damage, and it's only light bleeding. There's no way to tell, like from your point of view, from the shooter view, if you apply light, medium, or intense bleeding. You can't. So, for each dart that hits, plus one intensity, no matter the distance. So again, you trade damage for range and for the bleed effect. And that's how the flash set rounds work. Next topic. Let's have a look at the different playstyles. So I personally think that currently there are two main playstyles for the flash head rounds. There, there might be more, but in my personal opinion, I think there's currently two. The first one is you play the flechette as your primary gun. That is possible. 
However, always keep in mind when you're doing this, you're not able to one-shot people. I know I'm, you know, uh, repeating myself. So when you flank people or when you push people, always do that with a wider angle. Otherwise, when you look into a shotgun barrel and it's loaded with buckshot, you're gonna fucking bite the dust. It's an excellent ammunition for teams, especially when your teammates are playing with long ammo and you tag them. They have to stop the bleeding, so they take damage. That makes them most likely a one-tap to the long ammo. Also, the moment they stop the bleeding, they become slow-moving targets. So your team can also press advantage while they're healing, obviously, right? It works with most shotguns. I personally think that the Spectre and the Terminus works best for that, but I'm gonna talk about that in the review section. Just keep in mind when you're playing the flechette rounds as a primary gun, you have zero penetration. I know the description says it cannot penetrate most surfaces, and I think this is misleading, because, well, you can shoot through cloth, but a wooden fence will catch all your darts. So basically there's no penetration at all. All right, that's the playstyle number one. The second playstyle is you use the flechette rounds as a finisher. So you combo this with high damage guns. That means if you don't have any traits, you play it with the Mosin Obras and then with one of the hand cannons with flechette rounds. You can play it with the Terminus or the Spectre at full size and then you take an uppercut. Or you take the Sparks with Quartermaster. Lots of loadouts that you can take. Basically, Take something with a lot of punch. Then, you have two options. First, you tag them with the hard hitter and then you finish them off with the flechette. Or, you shoot them with the flechette first and then you finish them off with the hard hitter. Both have their pros and cons. If you hit them first with the hard hitter, then they might panic. They will start to run to cover. But, if cover is very close to them, you might not be able to switch fast enough and finish them off with the flechette round. If you shoot him first with the flechette, they will be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? He's shooting at me from 50 meters away with flechette rounds. Uh, easy peasy, I can stand here in the open a little bit longer and take another shot. But then you swap to your sparks and you finish them off. Pretty nasty. So I would say this playstyle number two here is an excellent mid-range build. I would not push too much because normally you play this with a hand cannon. And the hand cannons... In general, they're not very reliable, and uh, let's just say it's the same with flechette rounds. Do not trust hand cannons. Ever. Right. So there you have it. Two playstyles. One with the flechettes as the primary, and the second one is you use the flechettes as the finishers. Alright, let's jump to the next topic. Next up, some gameplay clips. Yep. <laughs> I shot her with the sparks and then flechette her and she died around the corner. Oh my god, this is fun. This is really fun. <laughs> she had all the med kits she needed. Oh, there's a uh, bomb lance in here. Ah. Underneath. Fuck well. Across, across the stairs. Female white shirt, yeah, her. So dead. We got this. Whoa! <laughs> Dance, bitch! I love how the weapon <laughs> dropped down. <laughs> uh, pick me up again. <laughs> Orange. How are we looking? Any enemies? Paco, I'm gonna shoot you again. Is there anything around us? There is, really far away south. Let's go. 
Family friendly stream. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, he's at the water side. He's probably gonna snipe us. Spitzer, baby. Spitzer, come on over. There's three. Two. There's three. No, there's three. Okay. At the house. Yep. I'm gonna try and help you push house. Fuck, I'm stuck here. He's right behind you. Yeah, the other two are coming. Flashed him. You're on your own. Fucking right. <laughs> wow, dude. This isn't great, is it? <laughs> I have one second left. They're right in front of us. There's somewhere like... Ah! Yep. Oh, I'm sped. Flash. Flash. Left side, left side. <laughs> Both sides. Come to the right, come to the right. Flashing over. The fuck. Got one. Oh, fucker. Both right in front of us. Attacked. Him. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh boy, dude! He got flashed, man. Are you like on the like needles? Oh, nice. Ah, uh, your voice is again fucked up. I hear myself in your voice. No fucking way. Oh yes, dude. Okay, let me check it. <laughs> I'm gonna scan. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude, that was fun. Why Left side, I? I think. I think I saw somebody over there. I, I don't know, though. It was just like uh, somebody walked by. South. Yeah, yeah. Over here, Mike, in the forest. Yeah, here. Behind the dirt hill. Right there, red shirt guy. Yeah. Two. And one more on my... Uh... They get attacked from the back? <laughs> He's Fucker. dead. Let's push the Suck guy. my ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's push the guy south, maybe. So toxic, dude. No, no, no. Here, here, here now. No, no. Right first. Okay. Oh, that guy, I heard him running. He's gonna shoot me in the dick. Hit him. It just doesn't feel very effective, though. <laughs> Ow! Getting shot in the, in the fucking ass, dude! 60 from your white hound. Redneck, hit him. Into the reload! Fend him off, brother. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fire ammo. Okay, heal. There's a redneck and another guy. At least. Oh, can I do this? Wee! Yes. Vetterly. Vetterly hot boy. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. That redneck's real close. Yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> yeah, no. Got that, bro. No, I don't. Playing ring around the fucking. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. I think. Shit. I dropped down. Uh, keep your mouth a little bit longer. 
You're doing great, you're doing great. Fuck. Where, where's Mr. Redneck? He's right in front of me. Why can I not fucking see him? This fucking black coat is pinning me here. Oh! It's actually not a black coat, that's a tier 3 uh... Factor! Oh! They both want me! Hit her? I can't pen the wire! Ah, oh, he has bleeding! He's sucking on the bleeding. Can you throw something behind this house? <laughs> I can! Which house? Throw it now. Where, where are you even? Stop it! Where are you going? I'm pinning him, Mike. I cannot toss that far, dude! I can't pen this. Save my <sighs> fucking life. Thank you. Help me! He had an axe, by the way. He's dead now. <laughs> She's over there, I think. Yeah, she is. Probably somewhere 90. I'm gonna use this shitter for cover. Do it. Ooh, ooh, jump roof there a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I hear her. I know. Yes. Oh my god, yes! I see her. Fuck! She sees me too! Pushing. Same. Going from the left. I don't care, girl! I don't care! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> you wanna know how many hit points I have left? <laughs> One. Uh, <laughs> I have, like, no ammo left. Really I mean, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty good. Man. Do I have Doctor? I do. <laughs> Bleed beats fire. Actually, it does. Okay, it's time to talk about the single gun families. Alright, so you saw now some gameplay footage, and I would say we have a look at the specific gun families. Let's start with the Caldwell Rival. It's decent and cheap. Like 100 or 85 for the hand cannon plus 45 for the flechette rounds. In my opinion, you should play this with the finisher playstyle, so a quartermaster build with a Mosin Obres, or you play a quartermaster build with a Sparks and take the hand cannon. Two shells can be hard to finish people off, it's possible, definitely. At the moment you miss one shell, hmm, I don't know. I had the best success or the biggest success when I used the rival family for the finisher moves. Then, next up, we have the Spectre family, and that is a little bit differently. In my opinion, they work great for both playstyles. The full-size Spectre or the Spectre Bayonet, if you want to play it as your primary, or you take the Spectre Compact if you want to play the finisher playstyle. Now, I never thought I would say this, um, but I honestly think the Spectre Bayonet as the best shotgun floor for the flechette rounds. And that is crazy, because you only lose a little bit of damage, but you gain the bayonet. And that means the bayonet can save your ass when you rush buildings or when you push around corners and there's suddenly sudden dude sitting in front of you. Heavy attack with the bayonet deals, I think it's 168 damage to the upper torso, and that's enough to kill them. So there is your one shot at close range. Pretty versatile, I have to say, with the Spectre Bayonet. Loving it. The pricing is still reasonable for all guns. 164, 188, 223 for, you know, Spectre Compact, full size, and the Bayonet. For the finisher move, I would still say you take the Caldwell Rival, because Spectre Compact is a bit too expensive for that. Also, you want the quick 2-tap and not the slow 4-tap when we're talking about a fast finisher. Also, for close range, this build, I mean, sure, with the Spectre Bayonet, it might work. The slow fire rate can be painful. 
the pump might kill you. You shoot your first flashette rounds, you hit them, they're not dying. You shoot a second time, you miss or there's a wooden fence or whatever. And I, I don't know if you get the time normally to shoot a third time with a Spectre at close range. So it's really a short range loadout or maybe even mid range. Have fun with that one. Then, last gun family is uh, Winfield Terminus, full size and hand cannon. In my opinion, it has the highest DPS over time because you have levering. You don't need it, but it's pretty cool with it. It's expensive though. I think it's a tiny bit overpriced. Like on average you pay 3 and bucks for that thing and then another 45 for the flechette rounds. It is good, especially the full size terminus for the primary builds is pretty fun. Excellent for mid-range builds. For finisher builds, I would just not take it because it's too expensive. It's just too expensive. I had some success with the Terminus, full size, devil ring, flashette rounds, paired with an officer or an uppercut, super fun. I honestly would like to see um, Crytek to drop the price a little bit there. Not by much, but I think we can agree that maybe 220, 250 would be a little bit more reasonable. Okay, but I'm already drifting into the next chapter, and that is personal opinion. And the last chapter, my personal opinion. Okay, I'm gonna freestyle this one, no script. So I personally enjoy the flechette rounds a lot. They are not straight up an upgrade, they're just playstyle B option. Although they're pretty close to being an upgrade. They're not very expensive, so you can play them. I mean, 45 bucks is not that much compared for like uh, explosive ammo for the martini is 120 that's almost a gun um or for example the slugs 150 which is more than the full-sized rival you can play them solo i'm actually having a video pretty soon for you guys another solo guide by the way where i played with mosin obras and the spectre compact flechette with Basically, the ideal scenarios regarding engagements with that loadout. I hope I can show you guys that pretty soon. Some guns are pretty expensive, for example, the Terminus. I personally would say you play the Caldwell Rival Hand Cannon with Flechette if you want to play the finisher build. Or you play the Spectre Bayonet slash the Terminus with the Flechette rounds when you want that as your primary gun matched with whatever your heart desires. It's not OP. I know that some of these skills are a little bit crazy, but you have to keep in mind I tagged them. I hope I took the clips where I tagged them with a sparks and then it's really just about that one HP. So all these long range kills with the flechette rounds you could have swapped to an officer or to a Bornheim and, and spam them down. It's almost the same. Sure, the flechette rounds, they take less aim. I admit that. But they come with quite some drawbacks. I died a lot with the flechette rounds. Just to get used to this new playstyle. It's weird because, for example, I play Mose and Obris Maze and I play the Spectre Compact with flechette rounds. And I was honestly scared lots of times to push people in boss layers when they had a shotgun. Because I knew, first of all, as a solo, you have to kill two people fast with a round that cannot one-shot. Hmm. But the moment I adjusted my playstyle to the strengths of uh, the flechette builds, it was amazing. Lots of fun. Sure, man, no penetration. Low damage, at close range, you have to get used to that, but afterwards, man, flechette rounds are pretty fun. Um, I think they're in a good spot right now. Sometimes it might feel a little bit frustrating dying to them. And you can also literally bleed out people. You can drain their mats like crazy. You tag them, you're still dealing a decent amount of damage. And if you're lucky, it's intense bleeding. They have to heal a lot. So you can literally play the long game if you accept that you might 
die until they die to a random headshot from them. That's how it goes. So that's it for the flechette rounds. Let's see what kind of ammo type we have next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. And the flechette video is in the back. I love doing these videos. They take a bit of time to create them, but they are hopefully useful for you guys out there. Way beyond useful are these lovely people right here, my patrons. Thank you guys for your support, it's pretty bonkers. Also, dear high tier patrons, don't forget to reach out to me regarding the play sessions. Thank you for watching, more content coming soon. Can't wait to show it to you guys. I see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye bye.